decided to get up early this morning. We were in uh, New Mexico, and he's at the wheel again. And suddenly we're in Texas, heading towards our buddy Robbie Miller. Where are you, Robbie? Hello, Robbie. Where do you think he is now, Jerry? Sleeping in his tent. <laughs> Robbie, wake up. Jerry says you're sleeping in your tent. We have to meet you tonight. So I guess the uh, destination is Oklahoma. Oh wow, look at these windmills. My daughter's gonna wanna start environmental improvement. This is one of those things, those windmills. Look at how many. Oh my gosh, look at how many. They look like aliens, don't they? Holy smokes, can you guys see these? This is as far as I can see them. Wait, this is Texas? I have never seen anything like this in my life. Let me see if I can make this a little bigger. Can you guys like see this? I swear it looks like Alien City. Sure. 
way we're blurring out here. There we go. We're heading towards Tulsa to see our buddy Robbie who has been riding his bicycle from Ohio. Had a, a bad fall, hurt his wrist, broke a guitar, screwed up his, what do you call that thing you carry behind a bicycle? Whatever it is, I think that he carries behind a bicycle, bicycle trailer. Bicycle trailer. So he's got the guitar replaced. His wrist, he said, is a little bit better. I think he got a new trailer too. So we're gonna have to catch up and see what what a guy on a bicycle called Ramblin' Bob does <laughs> day after day. All right, we're signing out, buddy. So we've got Jerry at the wheel here. Thank God he was able to get off work and come because this trip would have been totally different without him driving. He also, I must say, has shown me a lot. I mean, I went to that RV tech and they were very cool about showing me how to do things, but there's nothing like actually doing them. So we went over um, just the basic plugging in the electrical cord to the side. I know that that probably sounds easy to some people. He got frustrated because he thinks I should know this, but so now I know how to do it. And then um, you taught me how to empty out the uh, black water, but I really haven't done that by myself yet, so the next time we'll get that on video watching me do it. But I think I can do it just by being right there and having him um, show me how. Oh, and then the biggest thing was the refrigerator, because that was kind of hard. First the whole propane thing, but okay, so I learned to turn it on and off, and then um, the, uh, the refrigerator was I don't know, it just, we had to like punch, punch and hold this other button. And um, I think it's because it had been, been used for years. So this is literally the first time it's been used. So we got that gone and that refrigerator is awesome now. And then the only thing is our fan. We think that there might be something going on. So he's going to check that out and I don't have to do anything about that. And um, so now we're leaving Farmington. My videos are so behind because I just didn't realize how busy we are. I mean, we are busy. We get up in the morning and then there's things to do like eat breakfast, right? And then we got to walk on the beach. And then we had to go swim in this icy cold water. In the Colorado. In the Colorado, that was so cool. So we're just so busy and usually where we're camping, we were actually without a phone or internet for two or three days at his brother's place in uh, Peach Springs. Um, Arizona so sorry about that but the fun is still the same it was recorded um, but now we're very excited we're going to Amarillo first of all we've always heard that's a good place right so we'll scope that out but more exciting is I know a boy named Robbie Miller he's a man now he's like in his 30s but I knew him when he was born and uh, he decided he's taking his traveling from I think he started in Ohio going to California and this kid is bicycling for peace and he is like the all-time laid-back peaceful kind of guy so perfect he also plays a guitar and he's known as Ramblin Bob so um, we're trying to hook up with him so every day he's been sending me messages and every day we tell him where he's at so we're hoping to hook up with him like tomorrow night all right guys we got to like sign out talk to you later